Story time of how I found out my boyfriend was cheating on me with my cousin. My boyfriend and I had been together for two and a half years. His family loved me and my family loved him and they expected us to get married. Well, last year when COVID started, we were actually in different countries, so we didn't see each other for three months. During those three months, we FaceTimed four times a day and we were always texting. He happened to be quarantining in our hometown, so both of our families were in the same place. I was quarantined in a different country. One day, my cousin calls me and tells me that she met a really nice guy on a dating website. I was so happy for her because she had had bad luck with guys. Every single week, her and I would catch up on the phone and she would tell me how much she liked this guy and how amazing their dates were and how amazing he was in bed, how sweet and considerate he was. I couldn't be happier for her. Well, when I finally get back home, my boyfriend is super distant and cold. So naturally, I called my cousin and complained. She told me to give him space. She said I should just leave him alone. And so like an idiot, I did leave him alone. One day, my cousin calls me and tells me to come over for dinner. Part Part three, so my lying cheating ex calls me and explains to me why he actually slept with my cousin. He said that he was so lonely and that he didn't know what to do and that the closest thing to me he could find was my cousin. Right, as if that was any comfort to me. He said I should be grateful that I didn't cheat with someone else. I told him he had totally betrayed my trust and that I could never ever trust him again. And then he confessed that she was pregnant and that his parents wanted them to get married. He said he just wanted to give me a heads up. Then he said that we could still be together but just not tell anyone. So basically he wanted me to be his side piece. I couldn't believe the words that were coming out of his mouth. It was like I didn't know this man. Guess what I did? I recorded the entire conversation. So I went straight to my cousin and I let her listen to it. She was so shocked. She couldn't believe that he would offer to have me as a side chick. Well, I also let my uncle listen to it. He went to my ex's house and beat him up. Honestly, that made me sad, but he deserved it. They now have a baby and he's gained 50 pounds. It's your instincts, girl. And always record your conversations. Story time about how I lied to my parents about having a boyfriend for four years. This clearance is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. My parents are super, super, super strict. Growing up, I could not have any guy friends. I wasn't even allowed to go over to my girlfriend's houses. At school, I was pretty popular, and the fact that my parents didn't let me have any boyfriends made the boys actually want me more, which is something my dad actually hated. Boys would call our house asking to talk to me, and my dad would grill me about it. So I finally decided to tell him that because he doesn't let me date any boys, that boys want me more. He laughed and said that that wasn't true, and that most likely I was just provoking these boys. Obviously, this really upset me. My dad was always really, really controlling. When I turned 16, I decided I wanted to get my own job. This way I could have some more freedom and just meet more people outside of school. I started working at a local restaurant and quickly made friends with everyone who was working there. They were all pretty much my age, especially one boy. Let's call him Rick. Rick and I hit it off right away. I had a huge crush on him instantly and I could tell that he liked me too. But of course my strict parents were always present in my mind. So I tried my best to stay away from Rick just so that I wouldn't develop any feelings, which I already had, who am I kidding? One day Rick asked me if I wanted to take my break with him and I said yes. He sat in his car for 30 minutes and just talked the entire time. I started falling in love with him. We talked so much and he was so kind and so funny. The next few days at work, we were basically inseparable. Finally, at the end of the week, he asked me if I wanted to be his girlfriend and I said yes. Without a moment of hesitation, I said yes, knowing that my parents would not want that at all. So here's when I told him that we needed to keep this a secret. He wanted to just speak to my parents, but I begged him not to. Thankfully, he understood. The only time we were able to spend together was at work. And we did this for a full year. When I turned 17, my parents insisted that I quit my job so that I could focus on school. I pretty much had to listen to them, so I did. This meant that Rick and I barely ever saw each other. Instead, I decided to sneak him into my house every single night. So I started sneaking my boyfriend into my room every single night. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I was sending me on Instagram. My parents had literally no idea. I snuck my boyfriend Rick into my room every single night for a full year. The only time we ever got close to getting caught, the smoke alarm in our house went off, and as soon as we heard it, Rick jumped out through my window. My room was on the first floor, so this wasn't really an issue at all. I finally graduated from high school and started going to college. It became way easier to hide my relationship from my parents because I was living in a dorm. Rick would come visit me every single weekend, and my parents would come to visit me every now and then. Even when I was in college, you guys, my parents were still super strict. So one day I decided to ask my dad when I could have a boyfriend. He said when I was living under my own roof and paying my own bills. So the following year, that's exactly what I did. I was able to get a good job in my field and so did Rick. So we put our money together and his parents helped us to get an apartment. But here's the thing, I didn't want my parents to know that I had a boyfriend this whole time. So instead I told them that Rick was my roommate who I met in college and that I finally just decided that I wanted my own freedom. My dad was really proud of me for taking the initiative, which was crazy to me. He said he was proud of me. My mom on the other hand definitely did not want me moving in with some guy. So I invited Rick over to my parents' house. They met him for a little bit and they actually liked him. Fast forward six years, Rick and I are married and my parents don't know that he was my boyfriend for four years. They think that we started dating after we moved in together. I kind of want to tell my parents, but I'm not sure. I think they would get really, really upset and possibly not speak to me. What do you think I should do? 
story time about how I caught my mom hooking up with my guy best friend. Claim this is not my story time. I was sending me on Instagram. My best friend and I have known each other for seven years. Let's call him Mark. Mark and I met when we were in school and we have been inseparable since then. Everyone's constantly telling us that we should date, but we're not into each other like that. Last year, my parents started fighting a lot because my dad found out that my mom cheated on him and she cheated on him with my dad's best friend. My mom's the kind of woman that constantly seeks attention from men and growing up, she weirdly competed with me. Like anytime I liked a boy, she would flirt with him in front of me. So yeah, my mom's not the best when it comes to stuff like that. So when my dad found out that my mom was cheating on him, I basically just wanted to keep the peace and I convinced my dad to not get a divorce. Huge mistake. Fast forward to two months ago. Mark was just about to turn 20 so I had been planning a birthday party for him. Because of COVID, I was only inviting our immediate family and close friends. And of course, my mom had to interject and wanted to help me plan everything. I told her several times I didn't need her help but she insisted. Let me just say this, before any of this happened it never occurred to me that my mom was even attracted to Mark. I saw him as like a brother to me so I assumed that she would see him the same way. My mom and dad kept arguing every single day. Mark would come over and he would just let me vent to him. The day of Mark's birthday party is when I started noticing some weird things. My mom of course had to drink a lot of champagne so she was getting a little tipsy. She insisted on dancing with Mark and like making this big scene so they started dancing. More people joined the dance floor and it became like a real party. A few hours later, I see my mom and Mark sitting on the couch, but my mom is crying her eyeballs out, complaining about my dad, and Mark is just there listening to her. I mean, she's putting him in a weird position. I literally had to peel my mom off of Mark and take her home and put her into bed. Thankfully, Mark just thought it was funny, so he didn't get upset. A few weeks later, I come home and find Mark in the kitchen with my mom. Once again, my mom is drinking and complaining about my dad, and once again, Mark is just listening to her. But here's the thing. My mom was standing there in a bikini, supposedly ready to get in the pool party. So my mom is standing there in a bikini, trying to seduce my guy best friend. Disclaimer is not my story time is sent to me on Instagram. I asked my mom nicely to go put on some clothes and she refused. So I grabbed Mark's hand and told him to come upstairs with me. I asked him what was going on between him and my mom and he said nothing. And he even said that I was ridiculous for even suggesting something like that. And I believed him, so I let it go. A few days later, my mom is dressed up all sexy in a red tight dress, supposedly making breakfast for my dad and I. But um, my dad had already left for work and I was going to school, so she knew that. I had the feeling that she had Mark coming over and she didn't want me to know. So I got in my car and told her I was leaving for school. Instead, I waited around the corner and I saw Mark driving up to the house. I waited for about 10 minutes and then I quietly pulled into the driveway and opened the door. And what do you know, my mom is sitting on the countertop making out with my guy my best friend and they were going at it like if I hadn't gotten there it would have happened you know I slammed the door and my mom jumps off the counter Mark pretends that nothing's wrong and tells me that he has to go to school but of course I didn't let him leave that's when my mom told me that they were in love and what do you know Mark confirmed it that's when my mom basically begged me not to tell my dad anything and that her and Mark were gonna continue seeing each other I told my mom I'd keep the secret but instead I drove straight to my dad's job and told him everything he went straight to his lawyer and filed for divorce and he confronted her my mom basically said that I was lying and that I had for some reason made everything up. Mark, on the other hand, is totally in love with her, but she's telling him to leave her alone. So she also broke his heart. He doesn't even want to go back to school and he's begging me to get my mom and him back together. I told him that that would never happen because my mom is never going to leave my dad. My dad makes a lot of money and she has no job. He provides her a lifestyle that Mark could never. Now here's the thing, my mom's accusing me of being a terrible daughter for telling my dad. But how could I not tell my dad? I mean, am I the asshole here? I doubt it, but what do you guys think? What should I do? Story time about how my neighbor tried to unalive me. Four years ago, my husband and I had just moved into a new neighborhood. We were newly married and were trying to have kids right away. My husband and I were also really social, so we would invite our neighbors over and host parties. We had a really big, beautiful house with a pool, so we always took advantage. Mostly everyone on our block would come to our get-togethers, but there was always this one couple that never showed up. I didn't think anything of it until one of my neighbors told me not to invite them to any other event in the future. When I asked her why, she said the police would go off into their house and that the husband and the family was suspected of abusing the entire family. Obviously, after this, I stopped inviting them. Every single day, I would go on walks with my husband. Well, one night, my husband decided decided to stay home so I went by myself. I decided to change my route and walk in front of the neighbor's house, the one everyone was scared of. And as soon as I turned down the street, I saw a man by the window. I looked away really fast because I didn't want him to think that I was staring, although I was. Suddenly, his front door opens and he comes outside. And all he says is, you're the new neighbor, right? I simply replied, yes, and nice to meet you. He stared at me for a few seconds, didn't say anything, and closed his door. I obviously thought this was strange. I kept walking, but a few minutes later, I noticed that he was right behind me. And something told me to run back home, which I did. That's when I realized he knew where I lived. Part two of how my neighbor tried to unalive me. Disclaimers is not my story time. I sent him on Instagram. I ran back home as quickly as I could. I told my husband that the neighbor followed me home, but he told me to just forget about it. A few days later, I come home from running some errands. I get out of my car and out of the corner of my eye, I see my neighbor standing behind a tree and I could tell that he's looking at me. I decided to just ignore it because I didn't actually want to have to make conversation. Instead, I grabbed the groceries and walked into the house. I began closing the door, but he pushed his way in. I backed away and asked him what he wanted. He asked me if my husband was home. 
and no, my husband was not home, but I said yes. Then he looks around and asks me if he could get a little tour of the house. He also said that he really wanted to see the pool. Okay, I know what you're gonna think, but I was so scared I thought that if I just showed him the house, he would leave. I walk him over to the backyard and he starts looking around. That's when he asked me if we had any security cameras. My hands and knees started to shake, and once again I lied and said yes. He started looking around some more and said, nope, you definitely don't have any. I told him I needed to leave the house and if he could just leave. He starts to laugh and tells me that I should be nicer to him. He ripped my phone out of my hands and threw it into the pool. Instantly, I sprinted away from him. He grabbed my hair and I fell really hard to the ground. Part 3 of how my neighbor tried to unalive me. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I was sending me an Instagram. He pulled my hair hard and I fell to the ground. That's when I just started kicking as hard as I could. I heard him scream and he fell back. I got up and ran straight back into the house and locked the door behind me. He came up to the door and started banging on it. He told me if I didn't let him in that he would break the door. That's when he grabbed a chair and started throwing it against the glass. Luckily, the windows are hurricane proof, so he couldn't come in. I called 911 and then my husband. I went around the house locking every single door and window. And he would just follow me from window to window, yelling at me. He told me he just wanted to talk to me and that I was overreacting. Finally, I could hear the sirens around the corner. And of course, he started running away. Finally, the cops found him. His pockets, they found zip ties, and his car was loaded with rope and different things. Apparently, he planned on taking me to the woods. He's now in prison, but I'm so scared that he'll get out. What should I do? Embarrassing story time about how my dad caught me making out with my best friend because of my toxic boyfriend. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I was sending me on Instagram. Okay, I've been with my boyfriend for about two years and he's pretty toxic. He constantly judges everything about me. My body, my hair, my face, the way I dress. Like, he's always been a little mean, but recently he's gotten even worse. I just turned 18 and for my birthday, I really wanted to have a fun time. I wanted to have a party for my birthday. The day of my birthday, my boyfriend showed up two hours late. Now, he says that he was busy at work, but I knew he wasn't working. I confronted him, but all he did was get really angry at me. And I told him that if he was going to be like that, then he needed to leave because I wanted to enjoy my birthday party. So this man actually left. The following day, he comes over to my house begging me for forgiveness. We started to kiss and suddenly he tells me that I'm a bad kisser. Then he starts shaming me for about 20 minutes about how small my lips are and that I've never been a good kisser and that I need to practice with someone else and not him. At first, I believed him because I'm like, okay, he's my first boyfriend and I really haven't made out with anybody. But then I thought, maybe he's just doing this to be mean because he doesn't want to be with me. He decided to ignore me for two days. I would call and text and he wouldn't answer. I even showed up to his house. A little about my dad. He really hates my boyfriend. He has seen some of his behavior and always tells me to break up with him. Now my best friend, she hates him even more. She's convinced that he's cheating on me, but honestly, I have no proof. I couldn't get it out of my head for the next few days what he was saying about me being a bad kisser and that I had small lips. So I started looking into getting lip filler. And I decided to call my best friend and ask her for her advice. She came over and we were just talking for a little bit. That's when I asked her if I could just make out with her for a second and she could tell me if I was a bad kisser or not. Now I know this sounds really, really bad, but my best friend and I are so close. Like she understands what I'm going through and I knew that she would say yes, which she did. At first it was kind of awkward, but then I just did it. After I kissed her, she said that I was not bad and that my boyfriend was the one that was lying. Two days later, I went and got my lip injections. Mind you, this whole time my boyfriend is still ignoring me. I waited four days for my lips to heal and then I showed up to my boyfriend's house. When he saw me, he said I actually looked a lot better and that I made the right decision to get the lip filler. But then this man actually tells me to leave his house because he was gonna go out with his friend. I went home and invited my best friend over. I needed someone to talk to and vent to. Then I asked her if I could kiss her one more time just to see how my new lips feel. And right then, my dad walks into my bedroom. We quickly separated, but he just stared at us. He was shocked. Then he sat down on the bed and told me that he was actually happy because it meant that I was leaving my boyfriend. That's when my best friend and I started laughing and told him that no, that was not the case. I told my dad the truth about how my boyfriend's ignoring me and about the lip filler. My dad's disappointed in me for getting the lip filler and that I need to let go of my boyfriend. Later on, I hung out with my boyfriend and he confirmed that I do kiss better. But now he's asking me to do other things to my face. Honestly, I don't know what to do and my dad's mad at me story time about how i hooked up with my best friend's fiance and all of the groomsmen disclaimer this is not my story time it was sent to me on instagram i repeat this is not my story time my best friend and i met two years ago her and i both worked at tripper clubs and we made a lot of money together one day she met this guy at the club and he took her out on a date and then they got engaged about two months later yep it was really fast me, on the other hand, I dated a bunch of guys and never really found anyone because they would all ghost me. When my best friend decided to get engaged, I told her I would help her plan the wedding. At first, it was really, really fun, but soon my best friend turned into a bridezilla. She was the worst. She was always angry, super emotional, and didn't like any of the things that I helped her choose. Oh my god, and when it came to the cake, she was totally indecisive. That's when she started getting to a lot of fights with her fiancé because he wasn't pulling his weight. Which, trust me, I totally understood because he was more interested in playing football with his friends and hanging out with his friends than actually helping her out with the wedding. This to me, of course, was a really big red flag. I actually started getting more and more suspicious of him, so I decided to do some digging. On his Instagram, I saw that he followed a bunch of local girls. So I decided to make a second Instagram and basically pretend I was him. 
I reached out to these girls and told them that I was him and that I just made a second account and that I wanted them to know that this was my account. And believe it or not, some of these girls fell for it and had full on conversations with me thinking I was him. In order to find out information, I would ask them questions. And sure enough, some of these girls were telling him that they had so much fun the last time they saw him. One even asked to see him again. This really stressed me out a lot because I didn't know how to break the news to my best friend. At that time, I just didn't know how to cope with stress, so I basically went and got drunk. I was super upset at my best friend's fiance, so I decided to call him and confront him about it. So I called him and told him that we needed to meet up. And he said yes. Mind you, I'm still drunk. He shows up to my apartment, comes in, and brings beers with him. I was like, oh my god, he's actually gonna try to hook up with me. I knew it right away. Part of me was like, what the heck? But the other part of me was like, I mean, he is cute. Ever since he started dating my best friend, I could tell that he was a little flirty with me, but it never occurred to me that he actually wanted to, like, actually hook up with me. But I knew that he was only doing this because he thought I was super, super drunk. So I started drinking some more beers, and it happened. I woke up feeling super sick to my stomach. I knew what I had done, and I didn't know how I was going to tell my best friend now. Thankfully, he had already left my apartment when I woke up. That same night, one of the groomsmen was hosting a party at his house. My best friend and I got ready together in her house, and then we went over to the party. And the whole time, she kept asking me what was wrong. She could tell that something was off. I couldn't even look her in the eyes we went to the party and i basically hooked up with all of the groomsmen in one night that's when my best friend's fiance came up to me and asked me what i was doing because he saw me making out with three of the other guys he grabbed my arm and told me that i needed to relax and that if i wanted to be with him that i couldn't be hooking up with his friends i was so shook he actually thought i was in a continual relationship with him and the whole time i'm only doing this because i'm trying to get him out of my system a few days passed by and i still don't know how to tell my best friend so i cooked dinner and invited my best friend over i was gonna break the news to her as soon as she came into my apartment, I just said it. I told her I hooked up with her fiancé and all of the groomsmen, and that I caught him cheating on her. Part 2 is up. Story time about how I hooked up with my best friend's fiancé and all of the groomsmen. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I was sending me on Instagram. I repeat, this is not my story time. That's when I decided to confess to my best friend that I had done all of these horrible things to her. I invited her over for dinner, and as soon as she came in, I just vomited out everything. When I told her all of the truth, she said nothing. She stayed quiet for a few minutes. By the way, I was crying. I was like sobbing. She then started to laugh. I asked her why she was laughing and she told me that the truth was that she didn't want to get married to him anymore and that she already knew that he was being unfaithful to her and that she knew that we hooked up. And when I asked her how she found out, she said that she actually followed him that night to my apartment and that she saw he stayed in here for hours. She said she called my phone and I didn't answer, so obviously she connected the dots. And she told me that she didn't care if I hooked up with the groomsmen. She also said that she knew that he was hooking up with a bunch of girls around town, and that she had been following him for around two weeks, seeing who he was hooking up with. I explained to her that I was really drunk and that I just didn't realize what I was doing. Then she actually forgave me. She said that she had been planning on breaking up with him, but she didn't know how to do it, and that I actually helped her decide whether or not she should break up with him. But she was really angry. She was mostly angry at her fiancé. So here's what we did. We got his car impounded. We even called his parents and told him what he had been doing. She even called the landlord and told him that he had been doing horrible things in the apartment and that he needed to be kicked out ASAP. She ghosted him and blocked him from everything. Luckily, my best friend lives in a gated community, so he actually couldn't come into her apartment. He even reached out to me, but of course, I blocked him and did the same thing. So now he was literally homeless, without a car, and since his parents were mad at him, they didn't take him in. So he had to go to stay with one of the groomsmen that I had already hooked up with. The next logical step was to sell the engagement ring. We went to a pawn shop and she got $15,000 for it. With the $15,000, we actually started our own little business and even went on vacation to Cancun for two weeks. He's still trying to reach out to her and me. He sent me messages on Instagram apologizing. And of course, he's asking me to convince my best friend to get back with him. We actually met this big director while we were traveling and told him about the story and he actually wants to turn it into a movie. Who knows if it'll happen yet, but I'm hoping it will. And when it comes out, you guys will know who it is. Now we live in a really big fancy house. We actually run our business from home and we travel whenever we want. Now the question is, would you have forgiven me or not? Bye. Story time about how I fell in love with my stepdad and married him. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. I repeat, this is not my story time. My mom and dad divorced when I was 14 years old. This really affected me and I really wanted to move away from my parents. My mom has a tendency to be really controlling and my dad has always been like a really jealous dad. Like he never let me do anything fun or even let me hang out with boys. After they got divorced, I told my parents that I wanted to go to an art school. But not just any art school, this was a boarding school. I was really eager to get away from my parents and just basically have my own life. While I was in this art school, my mom actually remarried. So this guy became my stepdad. My mom told me that she was really in love with him and that everything was perfect. 
They would come visit me every now and then, so I did meet him a couple of times. Finally, when I was 18, I graduated and went back home. This is where things get really complicated. My mom owned two salons and was never home. My stepdad worked from home and was there all day. This meant that I had to spend a lot of time with him. Every now and then, he would ask me to go to dinner and to the movies, just like hang out. And before I knew it, I was developing feelings. Let me remind you again that I was 18. I knew that this was really bad. I mean, this was my mom's husband. But there was something about him I really liked. That's when he started opening up to me about how controlling my mom was in the relationship and how he was actually thinking of leaving her. Now trust me, when he told me this, I was like, oh my god. But that's when I realized that he probably liked me too. I mean, we hung out all the time. And the vibes were there. I knew I had to get away, so I decided to go study abroad. But my stepdad and I kept in touch. He would email me and text me all the time. And before I knew it, we were talking every single day. One day I get a message from him saying that he caught my mom cheating. Now honestly, this didn't surprise me because that's why my mom's relationship with my dad ended. He asked me to come home and I did. And when I saw him again, I realized that I actually was falling in love with him. Part 2 is a... That's when I realized that I had fallen in love with my stepdad. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. I repeat, this is not my story time. At this point, I was 18 years old. He asked me to come home because he found out that my mom was cheating on him. He asked my mom for the divorce and she said yes. Apparently, my mom was actually going to move in with the guy that she was cheating on my stepdad with. Which is a whole other story. My stepdad seemed broken hearted, but at the same time really relieved. And because of this, we actually started spending more and more time together. Once the dust had settled, I decided to go back to school, which was in another country. And the whole time, my ex-stepdad and I kept in contact. We would talk on the phone almost every single day. Finally, when him and my mom were officially divorced, he actually started changing with me. He started going to the gym and even bought himself a new car. Oh yeah, and he got himself a condo. He started sending me selfies of him in the mirror and showing off his abs and stuff like that. At first, I was like, maybe this is innocent, but then I realized that he was definitely flirting with me. On my 20th birthday, I decided to go home and visit my mom. And yes, I knew that I would be seeing my stepdad. My mom and I had dinner and she told me that my stepdad was actually seeing other women. And this made me extremely jealous. My mom noticed it and asked me if I was upset. I said no, but she kept prying. Finally, I confessed to my own mother that I was in love with her ex-husband. Being the drama queen that my mother is, she instantly started to cry and told me that I was trying to ruin her life. She got up from the table and ran out of the restaurant. After that, my mom did not want to take my phone calls. So instead, I went over to my ex-stepdad's house, and I decided to just come out and tell him everything I felt about him. When I finished talking, he actually smiled and hugged me. He told me to just ignore my mom and that everything was going to be fine. He instantly made me feel so much better. And then he told me that he actually had feelings for me too. I mean, I was so happy, but at the same time, I knew that I couldn't be with him because of my mom. I also mentioned to him that my mom said that he was dating a bunch of other women, and he told me that he had been going out on some dates but that he only ever thought of me. He then asked me if I wanted to give our relationship a shot. I didn't know what else to say except yes, because I was so happy. Then we became boyfriend and girlfriend secretly, part three is up. So my ex-stepdad and I began a secret relationship. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. I repeat, this is not my story time. At this point, I was 19 years old and my ex-stepdad was 47. Since my mom was not speaking to me, I decided to send her an email and I explained to her that I had every intention to date my ex-stepdad. Finally, a few months later, she called me back. Mind you, my mom had cheated on my ex-stepdad and that's why they got divorced. And she told me that she would accept the relationship. Then out of nowhere, she told me that I should start planning my wedding. Mind you, I had only been dating my ex-stepdad for a little bit. It feels weird calling him my ex-stepdad, so now I'll just call him my boyfriend. Now the problem is I get judgment from my entire family. My aunts and uncles hate my boyfriend, and I'm pretty sure my mom has been telling them that he's actually a cheater when she was the one that cheated. It's been two years now, and I'm still with my boyfriend. But he recently asked me if I was open to getting married, and I said yes. Now the problem is I don't know what to do about it. We discussed it at length and I basically told him that I think we should elope. He tells me that I'll regret it and that I should have my family there, but I know they hate him. I mean, it is a very weird situation, but they don't understand that I didn't grow up with him. I didn't meet him until I was 18 years old. When my mom found out that we were going to get married, she actually started planning the wedding without my consent. She even tried to pick out my wedding dress and the cake. So two weeks ago, my boyfriend and I actually eloped. We're married and literally nobody in my family knows. My mom still thinks she's planning the wedding and I just don't know how to break it to her that there is no wedding. Should I keep the secret or should I tell my family? I really need help here. Thank